Hello, you're joining me on another fruitful video on this house renovation. <laughs> I'll start off, check this. So this is what I found in the old floor. I've chopped it all off now, but you can see how deep these notches are. Just get my tape out. It's nice three inch notches. Three inches of the joist. Take it out for little 22 mil copper radiator pipes. So how I've gone about remedying these. These ones, luckily, these three on the end had all their blocks just left in between the floor joists. So I can just glue and screw those back in. These ones, however, did not. And they're massive. Uh, so this is just uh, 50 by 100, the old timber from 1902. This is the old stud work timber that I'm going to put in uh, to patch up these joists. I mean, it's not perfectly like an airtight, but you don't want to be whacking blocks into these. I'm going to use this. Uh, it's a, a PU glue, so polyurethane is the expanding yellow glue and just uh, put some screws in so it holds in place. I'm gonna uh, pre-drill the screws as well so it doesn't split out the wood. And I've got these bits of ply. It's a 18 mil structural ply, which I'm gonna just attach to the side of the joists over the span. So the joists are currently in what you would say compression at the top. Um, the compression that means that when the weight's on the floor, the joists want to bend up and snap that way. So the blocks don't want to be, I don't know, too tight in there essentially. So I've seen some videos say, whack them in there tight, whack them in there tight. Oh, I don't know about that. I'm just getting a fixing point. They've been like this for God knows how long and it's not caused any issues, but a fixing point and just strengthen it up in case, it, just in case. So with these blocks all cut, they're a bit tall, as you can see. I'm just going to go along, number and mark them and cut them off flush. I'm going to do that on the table saw to save my fingers. So a bit of the ceiling just uh, fell through on me. Uh, my foot may have touched it. There's that bit of ceiling. So just obviously be quite careful. Um, anyway, this is the first one I've cut. So I think that's a pretty good fit. I'm going to have to force it in with a hammer. Uh, going to screw in and PU glue. I'll PU glue and screw, but I'll do them all in one go. I'll just get them uh, test fit. And if any needs to come off the top, I can always uh, plane them whilst they're in this form. Or a little bit with the chisel, which is just over there. I'm cutting most of these on a table saw. The table saw is just a bit safer as I can use the push stick to run things through. Any I'm not doing on the table saw, I'm doing on the miter saw, but uh, the miter saw has a tendency to want to lift these up, even when using a push stick or something to hold uh, the, the piece in place, because you don't want your hands that close to the miter saw blade, or a table saw blade for that matter. But yeah, just going down, uh, getting them in, making sure they're tight fits, but not forcing them home, because I don't want to split out the existing timber in place. So just a snug fit. You'll see how quickly the foam uh, foams up as well whilst these are curing. And by the time I get to the last one, I'm able to go back to the first one and uh, chip off the excess. Yeah, these end ones, uh, luckily the notches were still there. So great, uh, I could just reuse them, didn't have to do any tricky cuts. And then yeah, just cleaning off, uh, pre-drilling the ply. And then I PU glued the ply as well. This was the only one that was of real concern to me. Uh, so I just strengthened up with that bit of ply. So the working conditions could be a little bit better. Wide angle, probably a little bit better shot for me doing this. I'll try not to talk all the way through, but yeah, it's pretty straightforward. Yeah, just gonna... I don't want to go too crazy with this. It's incredibly messy. Definitely that one. And it 
expands as well. So just loads in there. I'm going to wedge this in, it's going to squidge all this down. I think this glue's doubled in price since the last time I bought it in any quantity. It's like, I think it's like 17 quid when I added on that. Upsetting, really. I'm going to need more glue than that. Said so not go too crazy, but here we are. Why not? Doesn't say what the drying time is on this one. Not that I can see anyway. But I can see I've got a little bit of working time with it. Alright. So I want to get there or thereabouts. I can always go across this with the plane afterwards. Yep, I know. It's a nice drill there. But not with one. All over the place. So these eighty mil screws, a bit excessive, but here we go. I do have a counter sink bit as well. I'm just going to drive these in as far as they'll go without splitting the wood. Let's have a look. Yeah, that'll do. Then these will go on the side. Um, you'll probably plane this edge down. Yeah, I'll plane this edge down once it's all gone off. Bit more glue in there. Probably go block up my plane now. Yeah. Oh well. Yeah, so you can see it's going white, it's already starting to go off. So now I'll put it on time lapse and you can watch me do the rest of these. So these first two are quite uh, near the end of the span. So I didn't have to worry too much about the ply, just more of a fixing point. This one was the really deep one, and it's not near the end of a span. Um, well, it sort of is. Let's see if we can see underneath there. Uh, there's the other timber, but yeah, it had the most out of it. And then these ones all the way across. That's the only one I've plied both sides and then PU glued. These ones have just been screwed, PU glued stop any compression at the top of the joists and those three i managed to find the notches for so i'll let them go off clean them up tomorrow and if they need any planing on the top i'll plane them however that should be it for this video so um thanks for watching uh wasn't the most interesting one but if you've got an old house and you're doing a renovation definitely you will come across this issue uh just for ease, they didn't have the drills to get through the holes through the joists accurately or weren't willing to spend the time. So they would have sawed a groove down either side and then just beat the rest out with a chisel or a hammer. So not ideal, but that's how you go about fixing it. So you've got a proper fixing point when you're replacing floorboards and whatnot. See you later. Yeah, yeah.
Yeah, yeah. I'm in the whip with a thotty, looking like Skybreeze. She got a body, ayy. And she been calling me daddy lately. Want me to put her in Cardi J's, and the bitch deserve it. Put in work for the money she earn it. Give me top every night, lip service. Then I gotta block these. She worth it. I'm out of here. Abu Dhabi with a bad 